Hello, everybody. I um, decided not to do the put together thing for two reasons. Number one, uh, I realized that there won't be. Just a second. <coughs> Sorry, things started blooming here, so I'm allergic. Uh, there won't be as many people as usual they are on the Sunday, but the second one and the most important one is that uh, for some reason we still have a low system hanging above us and the barometer is low. I don't know if you can see here, it's 29.62 so that affects my uh, uh, hands very very bad it kind of goes between 49 and 64 and it doesn't look like it's going to go lower than that so here goes my hope of being able to reduce a large cane and because I had uh, <laughs> hi 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 everybody uh, that's Lydia, right? And Carlene and Sharon and Elizabeth and Sonia. Hello. Um, so as I was saying, I'm still having issues with uh, my hand. Hi, Ramona, because of the barometric pressure. I know I'm supposed to get scheduled for one of those hand shots. <laughs> But not yet. Hi, Della. Well, I don't get UK during the day, and I'm getting UK during the afternoon, late afternoon. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, Thursday we are supposed to have another. I'm sorry, I have a nervous yawn. I don't know if you notice from time to time I do yawn, have yawn fits, yawning fits. I don't know why. Hi, Holly. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, because um, making a white daffodil would be a little bit not too complicated for a bouquet, and I should make a white daffodil sometime down the road. Yeah, Elizabeth. Hi, Holly. It is, I don't know, I'm so dependent on the barometer, but any time it goes below 30 millibars, I am starting to hurt, so you saw it's way. I mean, I'm once it goes below twenty nine point eight, that's I really have issues uh, with my joints and especially with my hands. I, as I said, I need to schedule one of those shots because those really, really help me for a few good months after I get them. The I have osteoarthritis of the base of the thumb here. And sorry, I did a bit of gardening and I got caught in a rose thorn. Um, and here on the right, I actually have a little piece of a spur that broke and is just floating around. <laughs> so, yeah, when I get the shots, they do the shots kind of like here. See, I already have a... This is a scar from one of the shots months ago, I guess. Um, that's where I get the shots and it really really helps I mean if you look you can actually see the the spur and that um, bothers me when I have to make moves like this pinching so that's all about reducing so it really yeah I don't know what bloomed Honestly, I mean, here I saw that my uh, forsythia started to bloom, but I know I'm not. Uh, yes, yes, Kim. The Norman actually had an F2. The problem was that they were what's called uh, Q uh, CLS tornadoes, and those cannot really be predicted ahead of time. Normally, we know ahead of time when they come, you know, when the path and they tell you even at what corner of the street it is, what intersection it is. But the QCLS uh, tornadoes are the ones that form in a squall line. 
and they form in seconds. They are on the ground usually for less than a minute and then they suck back up and they can be from the strength of a dust devil to the strength of an F2. And the one that was in Norman was an F2. I was practically between two. I had one to the north, actually northeast, and one going south, southwest. No, northwest and southeast. I messed them up. Anyway, so what I was saying, it's a little bit difficult to do a white daffodil in a bouquet. So I decided to go with a regular uh, yellow one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of play with the colors so we can get a pinch of a 3D here. And I'm going to have the sunshine yellow here, the cadmium yellow. I'm going to use a little bit of white and I'm also going to you to make, uh, I don't really have an orange um, um, so I'm going to make a little bit of orange using a pinch of red. I don't want to make it too dark orange so I'm going to just grab this and I'm going to get half of, remember all clay on the same uh, thickness use the same cutter I prefer to use the one and a half uh, inches cutter because it's the easy square cutter because it's the easiest when I have to go into quarters and eighths and all that so I'm going to get one half of a part and then this is a bead that's about, I don't know, maybe a little bit under a quarter of an inch. Yeah, somebody's been, uh, I, several somebody's have been asking me to do a daffodil. Oops, excuse me, a daffodil. Uh, also expect me to drop stuff, so. And that's why I put on, I don't know if you can see, this is yellow, but it's a very pale yellow, my t-shirt, so. I thought I should be, and I use the goldish nail polish, so I would be all, and so I would be all matched, all right? Okay, so real quick. And what I'm going to use to for the darker areas, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, sienna. Just a pinch of sienna. And uh, you'll see why I used so little red. Red is, as I've been saying many, many times, red is uh, the strongest pigment in all uh, polymer clays. Thank you, Lydia. And uh, that, is why, that is why usually when you have to do a Skinner blend involving red, you have to be very careful and if you have like a red and a yellow, you want to use like one third at most one third of parts red and two full parts yellow. So this is the pomegranate red, not the cadmium yet red. Just to be very, and as you can see, it's a fairly bright orange, only with that little bit of red that I used. And uh, I'm just using the roller because it's such a small piece. There's no reason to start, try to catch it. Remember the whole pinching thing in the pasta machine so it wouldn't fall. So this should be pretty much it. And just a minute, I need to clean my...
I always have to be careful with my uh, paper towels because my little Finnegan has uh, an obsession with paper. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so anytime there's paper on the floor, for him that's fair game. So he's going to start chewing on it. And it's not very very healthy for him but it also leaves uh, if I put my uh, my roll of paper towels on the floor it is very possible that I'm going to get uh, possible Finnegan hairs okay so I'm going to go by this and let me let me actually add it to the desktop to the um, whole image thing So we want to do something that is all right now let me make it smaller This is a tall photo. Okay, so we're gonna use this. I hope you can see it uh, pretty well. So, what you notice is that right here on the very middle, we have a kind of like roughly thing that's got most of the darker oranges on the very edge plus a few rays like this so let's work with that and we definitely cannot do one of those start with a triangle and then reduce it and cut it and stack it and reduce it because uh, it's not going to work all daffodils that are not ruffled daffodils have six petals that will be in a triangle uh, in three like this and then the ones on top will be in the empty spaces between the three on the bottom so in order to to get all this going I am going to do a Skinner blend. So this is my Skinner blend for the in-betweens. Okay. Don't get too excited about it because the Skinner blend is going to have the red. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to grab Again, a pinch of red. These are going to go one on top of the other. So this is definitely like a six millimeters diameter. start with this here yeah I do too my daffodils are like 
11 inches tall already the leaves and they are super 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 tall okay and now I'm going to go in the machine uh, and fold a few times that was 10 times okay my next thing is going to be the V fold and just to keep it straight I'm doing this and I keep going again 10 times very delicate Skinner blend okay now because I got way too wide I'm going to first fan fold it and if you do it like this you'll be able to control the orange and the amount of uh, orange yeah Finnegan discovered today that he loves to watch documentaries on ancient civilizations with me if you follow my personal profile on Facebook you can or if you follow his own page on Facebook you can see that now I'm going to go six times folding <laughs> six times again we fold and again bring these in a little bit and ten times getting there one more fan folding and I'm not doing the rolling yet because I still have to push the uh, to push the orange in it What's New York subs? Oh, your sub subscriber, the subscribers on your channel. Duh. Okay, six. again we fold so from here I go like this this is about half I go in fold fold and again I'm gonna go six times this time I don't have to fan fold it again half of 
try to be like a 45 degrees and again fold the very ends in and I do like this until I get the orange all the way into the yellow pretty good I can start fan folding and rolling and why didn't I go directly with something here because it has to be very great gradual and I can uh, control it much easier it gives that uh, more of that organic feeling for a flower and I'm going to have to keep it fairly narrow because of the way that it's going to get stacked and oh my god my neighbor's kids are outside again I can tell you those kids are something else they have absolutely no idea of manners or boundaries or anything that will teach me not to put my eyeglasses But, but they are absolutely horrible yesterday I was on the porch and my neighbor who usually helps me and takes me grocery shopping and stuff uh, came over and we were talking on the porch right And those kids were on the driveway of that house. The driveway is next to my house. And one of the girls comes on the porch and starts talking to me. And I'm like, excuse me, did I call you here? No? Then what are you doing here? You see two adults talking and you just butt in. you think she would have understood that no no she had to come several more times including one time Pisa had come and I was feeding her and she just rushed on to my porch to pet the cat and of course Pisa got scared and ran away and you can believe me that I ripped into her kept trying to talk to me and tell me stuff like I'm interested in not whatever how old she is kids problems they're just weird they don't have any idea of boundaries and what's permitted and what's not permitted or expected Yeah, I very much doubt she's gonna get her body kicked. It's a 
single mother with three or four I cannot ever figure out kids with all with different fathers who's living in section eight sleeping probably all day long she goes in the morning and drops her kids to somewhere daycare I don't know and she comes home and sleeps and then goes in the evening and gets her kids and so you saw what I did I, I took like half of it and I divided the orange in half and now I'm going to do another Skinner blend not a very forceful Skinner blend but not very liney either yeah there's this trust that keeps buying because what happens as I said this is the original one mile of my city so that's where the city started and these houses were built between 1942 and 1944 and uh, the original owners obviously started dying out and even their kids started dying out the kids who stayed and lived here and their kids don't want to live here they already have lives somewhere else and uh, there's these two or three trust funds hedge funds you know the slumlord things that take over the real estate that go around and buy these houses give them a, a little bit of a painting carpeting and stuff and then rent them out and they get they also offer section 8 yeah I don't really care I'm not very fond of children misbehaved children and generally younger children I'm I'm okay with teens you know like 12 13 up but I don't have the patience and the desire to interact with small children not at my age and I didn't have children by choice Alrighty, so this is going to have to be very, very narrow. And this is the only part in the cane where we are going to actually do a repeat. But I am trying to do it as, <coughs> as good as possible. And honestly, I was looking because this is not since Mikey died and that trust fund bought the house. This is maybe the fifth or sixth family that moved in. Family. Maybe like the three, third or fourth with kids. Every single family with kids. All their kids <coughs> had the same thing. It's like they are stuck on screen as means of communication when they play. There was one, two families before this. It was the, the only child who screamed. She was cute as a button. Her mom was of Irish descent and her dad was of Irish descent. 
Hi, Donna. Uh, her mom was a dark redhead. Her dad was one of the dark Irish people. But the kid, oh my God, she looked like a child Merida. She had like, she was half hair. She had this huge head of hair, curly of course, bright red, green eyes and freckles, like a, and she was smaller than normal because I know that they told me that she was like five years old and she was as tall as a three and a half year old. I mean, she was a miniature, a doll, but that kid screamed like a banshee. Only that it was her, their only kid who was screaming. But these ones, they all scream. And the mother just leaves them in the backyard and she's in the house. She never goes out to supervise them. No. Alright, so what I'm going to do with this one, I am going to actually. stack it cut it and stack it with my blade the yellow on yellow that's the most important part of all and now I'm going to have to reduce it but and make it taller but I'm going to reduce it all this way, this way. Okay. I know I have my... So you need to be, you need it to be very, very, very narrow. it's going to have to be a little bit longer than this but again let me first do this and then we'll talk now on this one I'm going to actually try to thin it out some more as much as possible and then I'm going to go with it through a thin setting. I'm going to use this part too, but not right now. I'm going to use it about in the middle or something.
Yeah, the weather is crazy all over the place. I've been talking to Anna. No, celebrate creations. And they are waiting in all that storm system that dumped a blizzard on LA. Yeah, that's coming to Phoenix tomorrow. So she was kind of getting herself ready. It's okay, Gabriela. I'm glad that you were able to be here. Uh, we'll put together the... If there's no more storms. <laughs> the King Sunday. I hope it's not, because believe me, it's not f fun at all to be in pain all the time because of the barometer. So, I am reducing it again in height. I was saying this needs to be thinner and longer this way. kind of a line but with a little bit of yellow in the middle of the orange right so I am going to this is the top I am going to insert one in the middle supposed to go all the way to the top. I'm supposed to leave the the orange by itself. Kinda like this. Now I have some extra over one of the thin ones. And then the other one is going to be on the side. So that way I'm going to have two of them once I get to the final cane. All right, so I have something like this, yes? <coughs> Oh, I have versions for all kinds of stuff. I actually saw somebody selling canes on Etsy. Um, if you remember the 3D pumpkin I did a few years ago. And she did that and a variant with a white pumpkin. She didn't mention me but you know 
as I said, you don't have to, but it's appreciated. Alrighty. Where are you, Kim? Where did you say you were? I suggest that you reduce it much more until you can do a, a circle, a full circle. Don't do like I just did, I didn't realize what I was doing. Because I can do it, but maybe you cannot do it. To reduce such a weird shape. Now be careful when you put them together to not go, remember that I put one here do not go one on one so make sure that you put yellow on orange okay so now I have half a circle oh I see yeah you're supposed to get that uh, that storm and a lot of wind especially it's going to be very windy all these uh, this would be the half and again be careful don't put yellow on yellow turn it and put it like this but before I do that I have all these uh, remnants of oranges and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all together that would be the best Donna that would be the most uh, polite and elegant thing to do but uh, remember as I say in the end of my videos I don't uh, it's not a paid video it's not a paid tutorial I put these things out for people to learn so feel free to learn okay this is a bit too much for what I have in intention even this is too much. I'm going to get about this much. And actually what I want is about double this. So this should be just fine. So I'm going to go very, very, very fine on this. went even lower or something uh, suddenly my scores went no it's still 63 I don't know oh to my youtube channel that's the the best thing alrighty now I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and I'm going to make a string of it too. This is too much. I'm going to make a string of it too. I'm going to actually cut it smaller. So 
about this side, the length of the cane. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to get a toothpick because I want this to be almost like a crescent moon. So I'm making a dent in here. I'm going to put some of this here. And then roll it to be round. And then just put these together all around it. This is enough, it is actually too big. I'm gonna have to reduce it a bit. Okay, so this and this. Now, toothpick. Place the toothpick right in the middle here. Press. Same for this one. Well, it comes with what? Seamus is trying to tell me something. And I'm going to place this in the middle here. And again, careful, yellow and orange. So this will be the, the middle of it, but don't worry, it's going to be ruffled when we are, when we are at it. And the final thing. It's hot here. It's right now, I think it's like 76 degrees outside and I could kept the door open even with the glass door down until it started getting towards 72 and then I closed the door but I'm trying to avoid having to turn on the AC so early in the season okay so this will be kind of sort of our 3D thing. Okay, now I'm going to work real quick to do the petals. Before I start hurting too much to do anything. If I start hurting too much to do anything, uh, I don't know, I'll probably do another one tomorrow uh, afternoon you know so that it will be finished ah. but uh, maybe I should have done this a little bit darker oh well it's gonna still be okay When you do it right here in the middle here, make these things a bit darker with some uh, uh, sienna. Okay, now. And 
this is not going to be as difficult, right? Because we have two very similar colors. So, three parts. and two shreds of white in a second here. So my main thing right now is to flatten these so I can uh, hand fold them. And then go. Hi, Lane. How did it go? Yeah, why I said I might oh, I might have to finish it tomorrow is because I don't know how you are, but when I am in pain and I'm hurrying to finish something, I'm gonna make mistakes. That is a given. So I don't want that to happen. Oh, good. Oh, by the way, it's going to be my birthday soon. On the 12th of March, I'm turning 62. And I'm still pr I'm proud that I still didn't get crow's feet. But I got this. Before I go anywhere else, I'm going to start adding the white. And as I said, two little shreds of um, a sienna. I still am going to be 62. I'm reveling in the still being 61 part. <laughs> yeah, I was born born in 61, so I'm a boomer. Crazy boomer. But that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put one on the on the outer side of the bright yellow and the 
same here on the outer side of the bright yellow. Now remember, we are not doing a perfect, super realistic thing. It's just a... I thought I brought out the sienna. But I guess I did not. gonna use a little bit of burnt umber just get even less than the burnt, than the sienna. Oh so you're younger than me. Very, 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 very thin. Very, very, very. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna just stay with this. Hi, Mona. How's it going? Are you under winter storm thingies? Is Canada on the winter storm thing is? And this one I'm gonna put it in the middle right between the kind of like sort of between the darker yellow and the brighter yellow. So I got this done. Now I'm going to get it in as much as possible and now we can roll again it doesn't have to be yeah with me it was kind of like after 40 But I always look younger than I am, which, until I turned like 20 something, was, no, 30, until I turned 30, was really irritating, my late 20s. But uh, after I turned 30, I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'm still 20, in my early 20s. Again, you don't want on these ones you don't want perfectly perfect let me actually roll it backwards uh, perfectly perfect uh, skinner blends you want them to be blended just enough to uh, not have actual lines so that's good honestly I don't want to be 20 again. Well, I won't want to be in my early 30s. To be very honest, I think I looked the best in my life when I was like between 36 and 38. I think that's when I looked the best, 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 best. So that's what you want. You want to kind of refine these lines. You don't want them to look like lines. They are going to be much smaller. Yeah, I forgot to put cream on them. I worked outside and I forgot. See, it's I have dry skin right now. 
but I I think it's genetics but also it's the care that you take because I still remember my mom was throwing fits because when I was like 15 16 I started putting on my face moisturizer cream and she started throwing fits if you're doing this when you're 16 what are you going to do when you're 30 and I said I'll keep putting on cream so but everybody says that I'm a spit image of my mom when she was 45 <laughs> just wish I could get rid of this extra weight oh and by the way good news I went off Atkins because it didn't seem to work anymore and for me Atkins is a pain because I'm a almost vegetarian and that is by choice not because I not because I want to save the animals or any stuff like that it's just that I prefer vegetables and fruit to meat and Atkins is a very very hard to deal diet for me so I went back to my pretty much Mediterranean style and I started losing weight Yay. I don't know if it's that or the fact that my <laughs> thyroid meds are finally what they are supposed where they are supposed to be but I'd take any of them, you know, as long as I, and I'm not as tired as I used to be, as long as the tiredness doesn't mess me up. Yeah, you know, why Elaine, because as you age, you start not giving up, you know, about what people think. I didn't care much about what people think when I was young either, so. And this being raised in a society where the, the main thing is, uh, what will the neighbor say? And I always said, I don't live my life for the neighbors. Yeah, we don't, we are not really willing to put up with stuff anymore. You know what I didn't say, because I don't want to get a YouTube. Was that a good nap, Darla? I was, I wanted to nap today, but I didn't manage to, because... Uh, I vacuumed, I did laundry, and then I, when I went out in the yard, it was so beautiful that I had to do a few things. So I didn't manage to nap. But I slept till 5 today. I didn't wake up at 3.30, so that's good. Alrighty, so now I'm going to... and stack. This is not as thin as the rest. Towards the ends. Yeah, that's my problem too when my cats join me. Because they are so bad, they don't even wait for me to find a comfortable position before velcroing themselves I might
might actually do these two separate batches. They are getting a bit tall. It's gonna have to go as is. Yes, they are Velcro cats. And it's funny, usually when I go around the house and stuff, it's like they gravitate towards me whatever room in the house I'm in, they are going to gravitate towards that. So as you can see, I am elongating it. At least yours just run. Mine, if I dare to stay up after 9.30, Finnegan starts demanding that we go to bed. I know, it's not seven yet. They get fed at seven and I guess Seamus is already feeling like he's going to perish of, for lack of food. going to have to do two sets so not even sure I made enough so let me see. uh yeah so I guess I'm gonna finish tomorrow because I need to make another set of these. I don't think that this is going to be enough for what I need to achieve. Uh, and I'm starting to hurt. And so I'm going to schedule this for uh, tomorrow also at 5.30 the same time as today. And uh, yeah, I'm in Oklahoma, so uh, that should be just fine, but tomorrow should be not worse than today, I hope. Thursday, as I said, we might go through again through the same uh, thing or close. It just keeps... Right now, it's south, supposed to be southeast of me. Did you say you were? Southeast shouldn't reach you. You're Houston something. Anyway, I shall see you all. Yes, this is going to be saved. And I shall see you all uh, uh, tomorrow at 5.30 Central. The same as today. I'm going to have to make another one more of these. So I can put this together, it's going to be a pretty big. And I made it a little bit bigger because I want to have it separate also, not just in the bouquet, to make uh, for the distaches. It's going to be one of the canes added to the distaches. 
Okay, so I'll see you all ladies tomorrow at 5.30. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. And uh, enjoy. Thank you. 5.30 Central, yeah. 5.30 Central. <clears throat> Bye.